hey guys hi so in the past few videos over the series we were talking a lot about the gas laws right and i hope you do remember if you do not i'll leave the links down below we talked about the relations of pv that was the boyle's law we talked about the relation of vt that was the charles law right now at the end we got a combined gas equation and we said to ourselves well this is how the gases should behave right so we came about pv equals nrt right but the thing is two gases always behave like that this so there are some basic assumptions we expect gases to behave ideal because we know that virtually speaking the size of the molecules the size of the molecules is so less than the volume that virtually the volume that you measure is equal to the volume that you have so the available volume for a molecule is actually the volume that you measure generally speaking but i want you to think about what happens when you have a higher pressure so under higher pressure gas is compressed and the volume of the molecules themselves becomes a significant fraction so if this was the original volume but because of the high pressure now the new volume is this so here the v available v available for the volume is not equal to v measured why because we have drastically reduced it because of the high pressure so there is a correction factor the correction factor is nb now what is n n depends on the number right the more number of molecules the more is n whereas b depends upon how large the gases is so v available is v measured minus a correction factor so when we want to talk about the real gas this is one of the factors that come into play now let's talk about something as pressure you got to ask yourself what causes the pressure due to gas now we know the pressure due to gas is because of the collisions against the wall right that is what it is but here we are assuming that the intermolecular force intermolecular force for an ideal gas is very less why because generally at high temperatures at higher temperatures the uh, collisions the energy with which they are moving the uh, is very much right but what would happen if you decrease the temperature and perhaps increase the pressure now if you decrease the temperature then you cannot ignore the attractive forces between the molecules so at higher temperature the attractive forces are not very much significant but the attractive forces between the molecules themselves increase now because the attractive forces increase the impact of collision decreases and also the number of collisions are going to decrease number of collisions that happen at a particular uh, specific unit of time that also decrease why do they decrease because now the path the path of the molecules are going to increase because they do not take a straight path anymore rather they take a curved path why because of the attractive forces so hence we need to introduce a correction factor even for pressure so while you can understand that the v available that means the v decreases the pressure right the real pressure ideally exerted is not what the gas face so we say p measured equals p ideal and we must subtract a correction factor that's n square a 
v square measured. Now obviously we need to put these correction factors into our equation, right? So if we want, we remember the gas equation was PV equals NRT. Now we need to correct the pressure, we need to correct the volume, right? So this P ideal and V ideal needs to be corrected. So if you do that, you must now say that the correct equation would be P measured by, by using this equation. You'll write the corrected form P measured plus N square A by V square measured. That's your corrected pressure now. And then you'll write the V corrected, that is V measured minus NB. And then you'll use the term NRT. Now, if you rearrange this, you come about P plus N square A by V square V minus NB equals NRT. Now, you must understand here that this is the same equation that would be available, that would convert to PV equals NRT, right? Remember, the ideal equation was PV equals NRT, okay? Here, A and B are experimentally determined factors. Now, A and B approach to zero when we are talking about the ideal situation. That is why you have the PV equals NRT. Now, remember the values of A and B you always get experimentally. So, let us try to use that and solve a question. So, what would be the pressure exerted by one mole of methane? So, you have N. In 500 ml, you have V at 25 degrees. So, 25 plus 273. If you do the maths, that comes out to be 89298 Kelvin. Now, now you have to calculate the pressure. Right, So, you have to calculate the pressure PV equals NRT. Now, this is the P ideal. So, let's first calculate it for the ideal behavior. So, do we have N? Uh, yes. First, let's write it NRT upon V. N is 1. You already know the value of R, 0 0.0821. You know the temperature, that's 298. And you know the volume as well, 5.500. Now, if you do the maths, that comes out to be 48.9 atmosphere. Please mind the uh, units. It's very important, right? Now, this was which case? This was a case when we were talking about ideal behavior. Now, let's talk about the non-ideal behavior, right? Or we can say a real behavior. Now, here, remember our equation would change. So, what's equation? P plus N square A upon V square V minus N B equals N R T. Now, you already have this as same, right? Now, you need to find the values of A and B and A and B values are given here, right? Now, what would be the pressure exerted? Now, from this table, you need to find out the value. Now, this particular question was about methane. Now, you can see that methane values A and B, right? So, let's use these values in our uh, solution. So, you have P plus 1 square is 1 into A. Now, N square A, A is uh, about 2.25. So, let's write 2.25 and... Uh, v square 0 0.5 um slight error yeah 0 0.5 that's square so that's p v minus n b 0 0.5 minus n n is here 0 0.04 right 0 0.04 uh sorry n is 1 so 1 times 0 0.04 v minus n b now, this is going to be equal to uh, 1, 0 0.08, uh, 2, that's the R, times 298, that's the Kelvin, right? 
Now this becomes a sort of more calculative work. So I'm going to do the calculation and straight away write the answer that's P plus 9 ATM is 24.5 liter dot ATM 24.5 yeah 0.457 L and this is 53.6 ATM. So if you calculate for P that comes about 44.6 atmospheric pressure. Now you see there is a reduction in the pressure exerted. Why? Because we understand that higher pressures uh, tend to change the behavior of gases. Higher pressure introduces changes. I hope this really helps you to understand the real gas equation. We hope you like this video. Press subscribe, thumbs up, and stay geekly.